Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Have you ever wanted to make passive income by doing absolutely nothing at all? Well, what's very popular right now is called Ooh. dividend investing. Dividend investing is when you invest and buy stocks inside of a company that pays dividends to their shareholders. They pay their shareholders dividends as a way to say, hey, thank you for investing into our company with the hopes that these investors will reinvest those dividends back into the company to help that company grow. You heard me right, guys. Companies are paying their investors for just investing inside of that company in the form of dividends. Now, many companies pay their dividends every quarter. That means you'll receive a check from the Apple or Google. You'll receive a a check from these big companies four times a year so these are quarterly paying dividend companies but there are some companies that pay out their dividends every single month and you receive one check every single month from these companies now i know what you guys are saying hey i want to be a dividend investor i want to make passive income but you know i have things to pay throughout the entire month i can't just live off of one check a month i am not that responsible well Today, I'm gonna to bring you guys the top four monthly paying dividend stocks that you can invest into that pay out on each different week of the month. One of them gonna pay out the first week, second week, third week, and fourth week. So you're gonna be receiving a check from these dividend ETFs every single month from just investing into these four different ETFs. Now, these ETFs might not have the highest dividends, but some of them are very dependable. If you guys are looking for the home run stocks for very big dividends that are not ETFs, these are individual companies that have huge double digit dividends or five, six, 7% dividends. Tune in next week because I'm gonna be bringing you a list that will pay you out every single week just from investing into different stocks. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about ETFs because ETFs cover a broad range of companies which helps you diversify your portfolio. So this is very beginner friendly for new investors like you. If you guys wanna find out how I'm making passive income, check out my free ebook down in the description. Uh, with that ebook, you, could, you will learn a lot more about dividends, dividend aristocrat, dividend kings, and how I'm making passive income from investing into um, dividend paying companies. So if you wanna check that out, it's a free, free, free ebook down in the description below and also before we dive into this video this video is brought to you by moomoo Moo. sign up with them deposit a hundred dollars you can receive up to 12 free stocks and an additional free stocks just from depositing money one of the best ways to kickstart your investing journey i'm also leave a link in the description to weeble sign up with weeble you can deposit one penny if you want to once you deposit one penny you can receive up to 15 free stocks and once you receive those free stocks guess what you could keep them inside of your portfolio and decide to use weeble or you can sell all of those free stocks and withdraw all of your money. It's literally free money, guys. Do not miss out on that opportunity. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, dreamers. Let's kick things off with our first stock. We will pay us dividends the first week of the month with week one pick. That's going to be SPDR Dow Jones Industry Average ETF, ticker symbol DIA. Now, this ETF is like the key to the kingdom of blue chip stocks. It holds more than, oh, it holds around 30 titans from the Dow, including powerhouses like Apple and Microsoft. And the best part, it pays the dividends during the first week of the month. So while you're enjoying the first cup of coffee for the month, ticker symbol DIA could be serving up some fresh dividends alongside it. Paying for that coffee itself in the form of dividends or your Red Bull or whatever you be drinking. So, so let's take a quick look at DIA. Okay, here we are on Seeking Alpha Ticker Simple DIA. At the recording of this video, the price is $333.77. Now I know what you're saying, that's a lot of money, but you can buy, you can buy fractional shares on Weeble. You can buy fractional shares on Moomoo. Moo, so you don't have to buy a full share of $333. If you just want to invest $25, you could do that. Once again, those links are down in the description. But if we take a look over the last year, DIA is already up 3%. Over the last five years, they're up 34%. Over the last 10 years, they're up 117%. Completely insane. If we take a quick look at their holdings, as you guys can see, they have 31 holdings. And their top holdings is United Health Groups, um, the Goldman Sachs, Microsoft, McDonald's, Home Depot. And the majority of their holdings is in the healthcare industry. If we take a quick look at their dividends, they have a 1.9% dividend yield with an annual payoff for every share that you own, $6.53. Now, I know what you're saying, that's not a very big dividend yield, but look at the growth of this company over the last couple of years, just from holding 30 different companies inside their portfolio. Um, ticker symbol DIA is completely killing it. So while your ETF is growing over time, or this way, while your ETF is 
growing over time, you are also receiving dividends from ticket symbol DIA. That's why I absolutely love this ETF for the uh, passive income and dividend income. So let's move over to the next stock. Moving on to the next stock that pays on the second week of the month, we have the Invesco S&P 500 high dividend, low volatility ETF, otherwise known as SPHD. Now this is where it get interesting. This ETF cherry picks the 50 highest dividend yielding stocks inside of the S&P 500, but only if they're low volatility. So while the stock market is doing its thing, going up and down, SPHD aims to keep things steady, providing a smoother ride and paying out dividends during the second week of the month. It's like a coming cruise through the stormy seas of investing. Um, let's go ahead and pull up SPHD. Okay, here we are on SPHD. Um, right now, they're $40.68. Now, because they have a low volatility, their stock price is not going to shoot up high over time. And it's not really going to pull back um, really fast over time because they're looking for low volatility companies. So if you look at the five year, they're up 2%. And over the last 10 years, they're up 43%. But because they don't have high volatility, they're able to pick the top 50 highest dividend companies inside the S&P 500, which gives them a higher dividends. So we take a look at their dividend. They have a 4.2% dividend yield, double of, of what DIA is, and they pay on the second week of the month. And they bid, so for every share that you own at SPHD, you'll receive around $1.72 over the course of a year, every single month month on the second week of the month and if we take a quick look at their holdings if you guys want to look at their holdings their top holdings in their portfolio is real estate and they have Altria group at&t verizon dow walgreens and many other stocks inside of their portfolio so you guys could take a look at that they have around 52 holdings inside of that company so let's move over to stock number three all right so for week three we're going with the global x super dividend etf or sdiv now this is like having a golden ticket to willy wonka dividend family Factory, it tracks the 100 highest dividend paying equity securities in the world and it pays out the dividends during the third week of the month imagine while you're sitting at home you could be earning dividends from companies from all around the world from the uk to australia from singapore to canada it's like a global dividend adventure that's why i like this etf because it gives me uh, companies that are doing good that are not just inside of the united states so the first two etfs i brought you guys invest in two companies inside the united states now you could be receiving dividends from companies that are around the world that are actually doing good around the world so it's 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 diversifying your portfolio even more so let's go ahead and take a quick look at sdiv all right so here on sdiv they have a that right now at the recording of this video is 21 dollars and 95 cents now over the last couple of years they have been pulling back so at this price point it might be a good entry to get in but they have over 123 different co companies inside of the holdings some of them might be the a class companies or the b class companies but the if it tracks the top 100 ish companies that pays our dividends around the globe so if you take a look at their dividends they're going to have the highest dividends with um 14.3 percent tripling what sphd does so if you want to dip your toes inside of other industries outside of the united states this might be a good way to go if you're strictly looking for passive income in the form of dividends with a 14.5 percent yield you're going to re be receiving three dollars and 16 cents for every share that you own of sdiv 14.5 percent dividend yield is a little risky it's kind of high but remember check out next week i'm going to bring you some stocks that pays out those dividend yields which is not as risky as this one right here but if you guys want to learn more about dividends and the yield make sure you check out that free ebook down in the description so let's go ahead oh this stock is going to pay out on the third week of the month so let's go ahead and pull up the next company the fourth company that pays out on the fourth week of the month actually i think i got this mixed up sdiv pays on the first week of the month and dia pays on the third week of the month so yeah i think i got those mixed up so let's go ahead and pull up stock number four okay here we go last but not least we're wrapping up the month with a banger all right it's gonna be invesco kbw high dividend yield financials etf to consumer kbwd it's our pick for week four this etf zero ends on the u.s financial sector specifically um targeting firms with the highest dividend yields it's kind of like having your own personal team high yield financial workers 
working hard to bring you dividends during the fourth week of the month. And it's not just banks, it's, it diversifies across real estates, insurances, other financial services. It's like a financial buffet of dividends. So here we are, KBWD, they are down on the year, they're down 7%. If we take a look at their holdings, they have around 41 different companies inside of their portfolio. And they have $14.03 at the recording of this video. If we take a look at their dividends, they have a 12.35% dividend yield as you guys can see the higher the dividend yield the more you're going to get paid from these companies but the higher the dividend yield is on these etfs the less money these companies have to grow to uh increase the value of their company over time to grow their company over time so it's kind of like hey do i want to look for a lower dividend etf that's going to grow over time or do i want to look for a high yield dividend etf that's probably going to stay even over time or lose over time but i'm going to be receiving a 12 percent dividend yield every single month um it's kind of like you have to pick your poison i'm gonna tell you the percentage that i would do in this video if i had to pick from these four stocks in fact uh, out of these four companies i am investing into a couple of them so let's go ahead and break that down right quick all right guys now this was a quick little fun experiment to, to receive dividend payments every single week of the month now i could have found two better stocks on the last two other than sdiv and kbwd but i just wanted to find some stocks um that show you the differences in between high paying dividend yield stocks and low paying dividend yield stocks me personally if i had a hundred percent to invest inside these companies i would invest uh 35 percent into dia 35 percent into sphd 15 percent into sdiv and 15 percent into kbwd what's that 35 35 that's 70 and at least 30 more percent yeah that about 100 percent portfolio so i will invest the least amount into the high paying dividend stocks and then i will invest the most i'll probably invest about 50 actually i invest about 60 percent even though it has a lower dividend yield i will invest 60 percent actually i like dividends i will invest 60 percent to sphd just for because i love dividends i love doing absolutely nothing getting paid from these companies so 60 percent to sphd 30 percent into dia that leaves what nine ten percent left five percent into the last two i really didn't really like the last two that much but if you guys are looking to get paid um every single week of the month those two was just two high paying dividend etf yields that i would just want to show you guys the difference so remember do your own research if you want to learn more about dividends check out that link down in the description for the free ebook if you want to receive some free stocks check out mumu in the description check out weeble in the description sign up deposit get free stocks up to 15 free stocks this will help your investing journey who knows you might uh get some gifts from them for dividend stocks once you sign up if you want to start your investing journey but other than that guys remember to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and don't miss out on next week when i bring you um some top real estate stocks that has a very high dividend yield that has been increasing their dividend uh, payments every single year for multiple years it's going to be a banger make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on that video but that's all i got for you today guys i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace